Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit, but we are gonna hang out today. It is a Sunday. We've got quite a bit of things to do today. Kind of my usual, my usual Sunday. I'm going to check in with my clients. I have to finish editing a podcast episode to go live tomorrow and listen to it one more time fully through to make sure that it sounds right. I'm a little, I'm a little crazy when it comes to my podcast. I need to like, I'm a perfectionist, okay? I can't help it. And then we've got some unboxings to do, like a big Amazon haul, and then some ingredient prep and just kind of getting the place cleaned up. I did a really big deep clean yesterday, which honestly saves me like a couple hours today, which is great. But do like another, another little dust through to make sure it's really nice and clean for setting up the week. I've got my coffee here. I wanna show you guys this really, really cute mug. This is from Anthropology. I've got my, my Nespresso. Mm. Coffee makes the world go round, I swear to God. And I also, you guys, I just created a coffee bar. Like I just made one. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. It's really cute. I'm very proud of it, but let me show you. Okay, here's the coffee bar. It's hard because I had to shut the windows. Usually we keep this window open, but because of the backlight, it just did not look good. But I made this little coffee bar like two days ago and I feel like it's really cute. This is from Walmart and it was like five bucks. I ended up painting it. It used to be like a really bright orange color, but I painted it like a little bit more of like a neutrally orange. I don't really know. And then just added some decor. We've got our pumpkin spice here, Nespresso pods. And then sometimes, I don't know, Nash is a Keurig guy. I'm an espresso girl, but I'm getting him hooked on Nespresso now, which is why all the pumpkin pods are in there. And then that's decor from my mom. But hold on, let me turn the light off because at night it's like really cute with it being lit up. I don't know, I'm really proud of myself. All right, I wanna show you guys our guest bedroom. I keep reorganizing this even though we're moving soon, which is why I don't wanna put too much effort into this place or at least this room, this is like Nash's closet and his dresser here. But this is like my office and my workspace. So I've got that chair for when I drop the desk down and record my podcast episodes. This is also like my podcast studio. <laughs> and then this is where I like walk and work with this adjustable desk and then my little beauty station there, all of my perfumes. And I actually, you guys, just got this new one, Sol de Janeiro. I really like it. It's a jasmine embery smell. I like it, I think it's really good. Anyways, getting sidetracked here, but we are gonna walk on my walking pad. This one is from Amazon, it's from Deer Run. I absolutely love it. You guys know me and my walking pad. And then I've got my laptop here and we are gonna, we're gonna do our check-ins. walking pad is finally getting a little squeaky. I got this walking pad in February, like right when Nash and I moved into this new place. I haven't had to like oil it up or anything. I do have like an oiling kit that came with it, but you can hear it. Yeah, it's getting a little bit, I need to oil it up, but that was the first time. Like, I feel like this has held up really, really well. I haven't had to like, I don't know. I feel like it's just a good walking pad. Usually I try to walk every morning like right when i wake up i'll grab my coffee and i'll have like my greens and whatever the usual stuff but i'll grab my coffee and i'll come upstairs and i'll walk and work for an hour hour and a half depends on like how much i'm doing and then i'll go downstairs and eat breakfast i just i don't know i feel like it really gets like me woken up it gets my body started off in the right state and it just feels really good for me like you guys walking is just so slept on i feel like it's just the best, it's just the best way to work out. It's just walking. Like if you are lost in the sauce and you need a place to start, just start walking, that simple. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to do a whole routine. Like literally just start walking a couple miles a day. Your entire life is going to change. So anyways, we are here. We are gonna be doing, um, like I said, client check-ins right now. And then also I'm gonna edit my podcast, which does take quite a bit of time. So after that, then we'll continue to hang out, but I'll probably be doing this for the next hour, hour and a half maybe, kind of just depends. I just finished working. I am editing my podcast right now. Luckily, this episode that I filmed, I don't need to cut that much because I edit like all of my own podcast episodes. Luckily, it was almost like one clean, full take, which is honestly incredible by me. So I'm gonna be having that play in the background while I make some breakfast, but I wanna show you guys our room because it's just like, I feel like it's very peaceful and this is like my happy place. And also there are some kids that are playing in this little creek that we have outside that I wanna show you guys. I just, I love this space. So here's our bed and everything. We've got some pumpkin pillows that we added 
for the festivities, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a very warm and welcoming space. The bed is from, oh my God, where did I get it from? Um, it's from that one, that one site. I can't remember, but I'll link it to my like to know it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm blanking on that, but pillows and bedding and everything is from, um, Target. So this is from the brand like Costa Luna. It's really nice. I love this. And also the blanket is as well. And then here's our view outside. It's literally so pretty. And then also <laughs> don't mind the laundry that we have to do, but let me take you guys outside. This is like our little balcony here. It gets so much crud on the ground from all the trees, but it's so pretty out. And then there's a little creek that we have there that you can walk down. There's like a path, but a lot of kids walk down and they'll play in the creek. And I just, I don't know, I love hearing kids play. I think it's so, so fun, but it's so freaking pretty out, you guys. Nash and I are, I know I've been saying this for the past couple months, which Nash is golfing right now, of course. It's nice, because then I get my morning to myself. We're gonna be moving, we have an official date. We're gonna be moving in January. I'm not gonna tell you guys still, but we are so excited. But now it's kind of starting to really stress me the F out because moving across the country is just a lot. And I don't know, it's just, it's gonna be so expensive. Like we're starting to estimate the cost of it and it's just a lot. It's a big investment, which we're so excited to do. It's gonna be so worth it, but it's kind of starting to get down to like scheduling the movers and you know getting a hotel room for a night or two and then booking our flights and getting our car shipped out there and everything. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just, it's a lot, but we're, we're super excited. But that angst, like that anxiety is starting to weigh on me kind of heavily because if, if something is gonna happen, I'm so impatient. I'm a very impatient person. I want it to happen right now. Like I wanna get everything scheduled now, get everything booked, you know, find a place, all of that stuff. And it's hard right now because we have places that we've seen and we love, but obviously like we can't ask for them to put it on hold until January. Be like, hey, we're interested, but can you wait? You know, obviously if they have another um, person that wants to get the place, they're they're gonna pick them over us and making it wait. But so we, it's just like a lot, it's a lot. And I wish that it was just like here, but also I don't because I'm like not ready for it. I don't know. I'm already like stressing myself out just thinking about it, but that's like weighing heavily on me right now. And it, knowing that we aren't staying in this place, like it's hard to feel like we just moved in in February and we'll be there for technically like, you know, the year, but it's hard because it's like knowing that I'm leaving, it's just like that angst, knowing that this isn't like our forever place or a place that we're gonna be for another year. Like it's like that angst is kind of like starting to hit me. We've got kind of a actually random haul. We've got some Amazon stuff, but we also have a little PR package and just some other stuff that I bought. So let's do a little haul. Okay, so this is, this is kind of a mixture of stuff. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so I've been really trying to find good fall sweaters, cardigans, stuff like that on Amazon because I just saw Abercrombie's fall drop. We all saw it, okay? And we all want it. And it's got so many good items there. So my first thought initially is to go to Amazon and see if I could find something that's like inspired by or close to Abercrombie items because if you can find a cheaper version, like a dupe or something that's inspired by, I feel like it's close enough to the real version. So this is a nice, this is a nice sweater. This is a size large. It is not itchy, which is huge because you know, Amazon fashion is very hit or miss. Okay, cute. Is this cute or no? Don't lie. Wait, cute. Okay, it goes down all the way. This is size large on me. Yeah, this is actually really, really comfortable. <laughs> I don't know if I really like the look of this sweater. I'd have to look in the mirror because I'm only looking in the camera right now, but I don't know. I feel like this is actually really, really cozy and very comfortable. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've got a zip patch on my face right there. There she is, Hero Cosmetics. This is the Invisible Plus, so you can barely see it. You might've seen it the whole video, but the Invisible Plus works really well. Okay, cute. I would rate this like, mm, I don't know, like a six and a half out of 10, not my favorite. Is this the cardigan? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the material of this sweater. This is a cardigan. Okay, it goes all the way down to, yeah, this is long. I know you guys, this is hard because it's a wide shot frame. Really, really well. 
And wow, this is a really, really nice cardigan, you guys. Oh my God, this material is so, so good. I'm rating this like a nine and a half out of 10. This is like excellent quality. Wow, I'm very excited about that one. Don't know what the AC is, but we'll see. Oh, cute. Okay, so this mat, this mat, am I okay? This hat is definitely me. Okay, it says, this is from Amazon. It says, I'm so mentally stable, it's insane. Okay, this is actually really cute. I don't even know what it looks like in the camera quite like I can see if I bend this a little bit. Okay, cute, cute. Yep, I love this hat. This hat is comfortable. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm keeping this. Oh my God, you guys, this is a PR thing from, I don't wanna butcher this. Locatan? Locitan? Oh God. Not me getting a PR package for a brand that I can't even pronounce. I've never known how to pronounce this though. Oh, yay. Wait, I've been wanting to try this for so long. This is their shower oil. I've seen a lot of people use this for when they shave, they use the shower oil. Oh my God. I've been wanting to try a shower oil for the longest time. I wonder if this would really work well after you tan. If you're rinsing your body off and you go about your day, if you put this on in the shower, if this would help lock in the tan. Cause you know, when you self tan, um, keeping your body moisturized after you self tan, like once you rinse it off, of course, it keeps the tan just longer. It keeps your tan going longer if your skin is nice and moisturized um, because self tanner can also dry your skin out a little bit. So I'm wondering if this shower oil would like really help lock in the tan because then you can just rinse it off in the shower and you're nice and moisturized because sometimes i don't like putting on moisturizer after the shower i'm like i already feel clean sometimes putting on the moisturizer makes me feel not clean okay i'm so excited for this reset new it serum immortel reset this is overnight reset oil in serum okay i don't even know how you use this oh it's supposed to help the accelerate uh, the appearance of visible signs of aging. Wait, serum soothes skin and it helps it recover from intense everyday life. Okay, so a little face serum, very exciting. Proactive youth skincare enriched emulsion. This is the Immortel. I don't know, you guys. Oh my god, this brand is really hard to pronounce. I'm probably not the best to represent this. Pores, fine lines, and plumpness. Okay, cute. Ooh. Hold on, ASMR, it's got a little pump to it. This is really very pretty. Hold on, let me take out this other product too to see. Okay, oh wow, look at this packaging. This is so pretty. The hand cream. Now we all know a good hand cream from this brand. Um, this is, what hand cream is it? Just for dry skin, regular dry buttery flaky crust. Yes, amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is such an amazing package. I feel so lucky. I still feel like I look like a businesswoman with this on. <laughs> like I'm gonna go to a freaking meeting or something. I already know what this is. This is my self tanner, you guys, okay? Um, I get two at a time just because, just just because I, I don't know, because I can never go without tanner, but this is the Glow Pro Tans 14% DHA, okay? It's the absolute best self tanner ever, and you know it's crazy. So this didn't come in until now, and I needed to get myself tan on and I had none left. I didn't time it out correctly like I usually do. So I went down to CVS and I got the Bondi Sands Aero One Hour Express Tanner. And I actually used that for years before I got hooked on to this stuff. And I used that um, this week and I'm, yeah, I have like a nice kind of glow, but you guys, it does not get as dark as this. I'm not even kidding you. Cause I haven't, I used this for the past two years straight. Um, and I haven't used the Bondi Sands since, but I was like, oh, I ran out. Like, let me just see, let me see how it compares. And you know, when you put the Bondi Sands on and you get that instant bronzer and you're like, holy shit, this is so dark. You don't want to put any more on. That's the instant bronzer tricking you. So I was like, oh my God, this is really fucking dark. Like I don't need to do two layers. Like this is already dark because the bronzer, I rinsed it off in the morning and I was like barely a shade tanner. And I was like, this works so well because the DHA. So the DHA is actually what makes your skin um, change color. Like that's what makes your skin 
tanner. So the higher the percentage of DHA, the darker your skin is going to get with the tanner, like the more tan it's going to get, right? So the most amount of DHA, to my understanding, that your skin can soak up at once is 14%. This is the level of spray tans, like ultra dark spray tans. And those ultra dark um, self tanners that you use from like popular brands like Bonnet Sands, whatever, they only have like six to eight percent DHA. But because of that initial bronzer coat, it comes, it looks like it's going to be so, so dark. Like it looks like it's going to be way too dark and you don't put another layer on and then you rinse it off in the morning. You're like, oh, okay, that's like kind of a nice glow. But sometimes you want to be a little bit more tan. I'm telling you guys, this is the self tanner that you need. I know I do have like a linking code with them, which I'll put down in the show notes for you guys um, or in the little like description or whatever, but this is the best. It's professional grade self tanning mousse. And the 14% is great. The 10% is also great. But if you want a darker tan, 14% is where it's at. Um, and I'll tell you that the second day, the second day you're tan, like you're going to rinse it in the morning and you're going to be like, okay, it's pretty dark. But by that night and the next day, your tan is going to be golden. It is going to be golden. I don't know how much more I can sell you guys on this, but I even proved myself right because I was like, maybe I'll try the Bondi sand, see how it works. It just does not work as good as this. And I know this has been like a 10 minute tangent, but it really is that fucking good, you guys. It really is. Like, and I'm serious about my self tanner. Like, I'm not gonna just sell you guys on a self tanner that I don't think is actually good. Cause I know you guys be trying it actually. And I'll tell you every single person that I've gotten hooked on the self tanner, they're addicted to it. They absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous natural tan. You just gotta trust your girl. And ooh, you guys, this is exciting. Okay, so I'm a huge eminence skincare girly so i picked up some stuff on amazon this stone crop hydrating mist i just love it it smells amazing it's nostalgic for me because i used to use this in high school i love this i think it's like a toner but i just love to spray it on my chest and my face throughout the day or um with my nighttime skincare routine because it just makes it feel just makes it feel a little bit more bougie um and then i also got the flower peptide eye cream i do not have a good eye cream i really don't and i'm gonna try this out and keep you guys updated i don't really know what eye creams quite do if they like brighten up the under eyes or whatever but i did get this one here so i'm very excited about that and then also you guys i got these sweatpants um that are supposed to be like aritzia dupe sweatpants so i guess tbd on that but i've actually seen quite a few people get these sweatpants from amazon and they have absolutely loved it i got a size large because i like to kind of size up in my sweatpants but they have these like pockets right here and they're also like wide legged pants so yeah these are definitely yeah these are already i already know they're gonna be cute i know they're gonna fit around my waist um i'm excited to try these on the inside feels really really soft and they're not too thick they're actually kind of a lot thinner than i thought they would be because i was scared with this look of a sweatpant that it would be like too bulky you know but this feels really really nice so i'm excited to try these on it's probably been a long haul but i love doing hauls with you guys mm. Okay, now this is like super, super random. Um, Nash and I needed some more dish towels, so I ordered some more here just to clean off dishes. And then this was a cute little like linen set um, of dish towels. So got some more there because I don't know where, it's kind of like silverware. Our dish towels just kind of like run away randomly. I got some more of these I um, puff things. These are for makeup, for um blending out powder and stuff. These are the absolute best, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. They are so amazing. They feel amazing and they will put powder on your face better than any brush or any beauty blender will. And I absolutely love them. So I got just some more of those because the other ones I had were old. And then also I got, um, because I'm addicted to my hatch, I've had it for five or six months. I should do a hatch review on my TikTok or something, but I'm obsessed with the hatch. I think it's so, so worth the money. It's amazing. I have the hatch restored too. So it's kind of like this version, but they have a um, portable one right here that looks like that. And hold on, let's just open it. And Nash and I are traveling quite a bit. Oh my God, cute. Amazing, amazing. This is supposed to be for babies, but it's also, I think can be used to um, 
be on the go and stuff. It's got like a little charger port right there. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be easy to hook up with the app that I already have because you have to have, you know, the Hatch Restore app. Um, but we're going to be traveling a lot for the holidays. And I always put like a sleep sound on my phone on repeat, but it just is like not my phone like overheats in the middle of the night. So I got this to go and I feel like that is um, such a good idea of Hatch. Oops, falling over. But that is, that's the whole haul. Um, all of this stuff is linked to my Amazon beside it's the Lositan. I should probably look at on. I think it's look at on. That sounds right. And then this, I, I will put the link in my bio for this. I'll tell you guys have to trust me on this. You have to trust me. Um, but everything else will be linked to my storefront, but that was such a fun haul. I think Nash is honestly almost home. So you guys will be able to say hi to him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, okay. Got the Angus ground beef thicker than a watermelon. The thing about these packages is that it makes it a little bit difficult to get this stuff out. But Nash just got back from golf. I shot a 94. Not my best day, but it was a fun day. Played with a co-worker. It's all good. Now we're chilling Sunday prepping. For the games. For the games. There you go. This TikTok and it's, a, it's a YouTube. Go Utes. YouTube. Um, it's a YouTube video. A little day in the life action. <laughs> Got Sophia making the ground beef. I remember when I used to be so scared of like making protein. I still don't love to make chicken. Nash makes the chicken. Usually he will grill it at our grills that we have here at um, the like townhome complex that we live in. Or we have like a mini smoker from Traeger that we have out on our balcony that he'll just like smoke the chicken with. Because I don't know, sometimes chicken still scares me. With ground turkey and ground beef, it's it really is so easy to make like just put it in the pan and keep grounding it up and keep turning it over and you know cooking it until the pink is pink no longer and that's pretty much how you cook it but you guys know we love to prep our ingredients even if we don't have like a full ingredient prep for the week for example like we don't have onions chopped or bell peppers chopped we at least mandatory have our um, protein prepped for the week having your protein already cooked hair on my lip and already seasoned is so huge like it will save you so much time so much money and so much energy on just like thinking about food and needing to get it prepped and everything like this takes me maybe like 10 minutes to cook and it's already seasoned it's already cooked it's ready to go in the fridge to be thrown in with um any meal so at least at the very least, we always have like our protein prepped. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I actually wanna show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. I have a few new products that I've been using and also it was super weird. Last month, I had this crazy flare up on my face. Like right now, you probably would not be able to tell because I have a product that I got, I'll tell you, prescribed by my derm, but the weirdest flare up. Like, do you guys ever, like, I shave my face because I'm a hairy gremlin. I get it lasered now. I though I get my lip lasered and, like, my face lasered, and it's helped, like, tremendously. So I still have to, like, shave my face for the appointments and stuff. Um, and it was really weird. Like, I hadn't shaved my face really recently, but you know when you sometimes shave your face and you get those little tiny white little dot that, that, that they're not zits but they kind of are they have like a mini white head and you can just scratch it off and it won't turn into anything crazy but it's like you probably know what I'm talking about anyways I have those like all over and I have these like giant zits growing in underground and I was like what the hell is going on super weird I mean it was around my period which usually now it's crazy being off of birth control I actually break out usually more around ovulation than closer to my period but I don't know if it was a hormonal thing I don't know if it was just like a weird flare up. But anyways, my skin is looking a lot better right now. And I'm going to show you guys what products I've been using. Obviously, you guys can tell. I promise that I'm wearing I'm wearing something here. But let me show you guys the products. Okay, so I have been using this kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from Youth to the People. Little ASMR moment there. I will say this is kind of drying my skin out, but I feel like my skin kind of needed it a little bit. So I'm using this in the morning and then at nighttime I'm using the La Roche Posay hydrating facial cleanser that's in my shower right now. So I'm gonna leave it there. Before I wash my face, I've been using, you guys can tell 
This has been well loved and well used. This has been the new facial oil cleanser that I've been using. It's a gentle cleansing oil from the brand Suwalsu. This is a Korean skincare brand. It only has a few products at my Sephora, at least it had this and like two other products. My sister recommended this and I'm absolutely obsessed. So I have been actually technically like triple cleansing my face in a sense. So I will use this cleansing oil to get any makeup off. If I don't have makeup, I still use a little bit of this just to get the like dirt off my face. I have been loving this. I will be repurchasing this. It's been lasting me. I've had this for I think two and a half months and I've been using it every single night. You only need a pump a little bit goes a long way. I did it. I got the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Basically this spray has hydrochlorous acid in it to help with like inflammation and breakouts and if your skin is just going through it this actually helped like quite a bit i only recently just got this but the sprayer on it so on a clean clean face clean skin mm. Oh, I just love to douse myself in it. And then I will just kind of let that um, air dry. But this spray, I really like. I think that there's one on Amazon that's like the same ingredients. That's not like a name brand that I think is like cheaper than this. But I do really like it. Um, a lot of people have been hyping this up. And so far, I really do like it a lot. Um, I did get the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I haven't used this yet. I feel like I want to maybe use this before like putting on makeup. I'll use this as like a base along with like moisturizer or something it literally looks like i'm not wearing any clothes i'm so sorry you guys i'll back up a little bit but it looks like this would do really well i feel like before some makeup so i'm not really sure so i haven't used this yet which is pointless to show you but i did get that so i'll let you guys know and then i do have you guys know my stone crop which i just got back in and then this mangosteen revitalizing mist these are both from eminence eminence is an organic skincare brand and a lot a lot of estheticians and like facial spa girlies will use eminence and i absolutely love love eminence so this is these are supposed to be like toners i just love to spray it <laughs> I love to spray stuff on my face. So we're gonna do, mm, oh, and even like up here, it's just, it makes me feel like I'm at like an at-home spa. So I'll do these next after the Tower 28 spray. I really like the strawberry rhubarb um, dermafoliant with lactic acid scrub. You basically, it's from Eminence again. Um, you put a little bit into your hand and then you mix it a little bit with water and then just scrub like you usually would for your skin. I like to use that um, before I self tan. I usually do this like once a week. And then I will use a moisturizer, which you guys can tell this is almost pretty much gone. This is from Eminence. Again, this is the Mangosteen Gel Moisturizer. Obsessed. The Holy Grail product that I got prescribed from my dermatologist. I don't know if you guys remember like a long, long time ago when I was dealing with like hormonal acne after getting off of birth control. I actually, it's not really that long ago. It was only a year, which is crazy, but I saw a dermatologist almost exactly a year ago, actually. And she prescribed me clindamycin gel, which I'm using still right now. Um, I saw it for a few months, but I'm using it again. And then she gave me Twinio, which actually I still have it. This bad boy, this is Twinio. This is tretinoin and benzoyl peroxide cream. This is so heavy duty. This was way, way too strong for my skin. Oh, obviously my body like even rejects it because I'm literally throwing it. Way too strong of a tretinoin for my skin. I used it for a period of time and it, it did work, but it was so drying, you guys. Like my skin started to peel off. Even if I did moisturizer before, even if I did moisturizer after, like I was doing every step they were supposed to do a tretinoin, not using certain toners, and it just was too strong. So I told her that. I was like, oh, it's just a little bit too strong, like blah, blah, blah. And so she prescribed me a Dapoline and Benzoyl Peroxide topical gel. I don't think this doesn't have, I don't think a tretinoin or anything in it, but it has Benzoyl Peroxide, and this has been working so well for me obviously this is prescription i had to get it prescribed by my dermatologist but you guys i'm not kidding you it has like perfectly dried my skin out like i had i don't know if you can tell but i would sit right here i have some scarring and stuff here but these all used to be like active zits and this just got rid of everything very very rapidly and it is a little bit drying because benzoyl peroxide is drying so i definitely have had to moisturize but it's not peeling my skin off like uh, it's, it's crazy how well this worked like really 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 well um i will say you guys i tried the vino perfect by Caudalie. this is like 80 something dollars i think is it 60 or 80 i can't remember but it's really really expensive and i started using this and then i broke out really 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 badly i had that flare up so 
I'm gonna give this another chance because I really, the hard thing about skin and flare-ups is that like, you don't necessarily know the root cause. Like it could have been a shift in my hormones that month and I just broke out more than I typically do. It could have been this product right here. I really don't want it to be because I've heard such good things about this and this was so expensive. So I'm gonna give it another chance given that I have like a new, you know, topical prescription and stuff to use. But I, don't, I can't say that this made me break out. I'm gonna let you guys know after this month if it did or did it, cause I'm gonna continue to use it. But I did like it when I used it. Like it was really soothing on my skin and it's supposed to like help with, you know, your, I don't know. It's supposed to just help with your skin. I don't really know. I just get all these products cause I feel like they look cool. And I am a victim to like being um, coerced into buying products. Like if somebody's like, you need this, it's so good. I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. And tonight I'm gonna try this eye cream, the one that I just got from Eminence. And, oh, it came out green. So I'm gonna put some on right now. Smells organic, which is always lovely. That's kind of it. So then I'll do my moisturizer, which I usually do the mango Mangosteen moisturizer. I'm gonna use the absolute last bit that is in here. And then I'm gonna put the benzoyl perox, or yeah, the benzoyl peroxide on top of the moisturizer. And then we are going to call it a day. That's what I've been doing. That's my updated nighttime skincare routine. And I'm definitely loving it, but I was really excited to show you guys this because hands down, this worked so freaking well for me without it being like too drying and really messing up my skin like the Twinio did. Of course it wouldn't be a day in the life vlog or whatever if I didn't show you guys where I'm at in my reading journey and what books I've been up to and what book has me in an absolute chokehold right now. So I just read the Ritual series or like the Lord series, whatever you call it, but it's by um, Chantal Tessier. It goes The Ritual, The Sinner, and The Sacrifice. I loved the first and third book, which was The Ritual and The Sacrifice, but The Sinner, I just couldn't get into as much. It was really spicy, like super spicy, but I just couldn't get into the characters as much. And then I was like putzing around on Kindle Unlimited. I'm like, let's see what Kindle Unlimited recommends for me. And I saw the recommendation, Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. H.G. Carlton is the same author that wrote Haunting and Hunting Adeline. And if you know, you know. If you don't, those books were an absolute doozy. Like super spicy, but really just very layered, very deep. There's a lot of like trigger warnings on the beginning of the book because you have to be, I feel like, mentally stable in order to read that two-part book series. But I'm reading Does It Hurt? And it's so, so good. Like I'm binging the book. I'll finish it by tonight. I only started it like two days ago and I'm obsessed. I'm like a book. I haven't binged a book like this in a while where I'm like absolutely obsessed with it. But I did just post a TikTok video saying like, you need to read this right now. Like I made a TikTok saying like all my spicy book lovers, like drop what you're doing and read Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton right now. But it's funny cause like people, you know, were commenting on it and they're like, it's really not that good. Or I had to DNF it or it was just not that good and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's funny because my take with like, with spicy books, especially if they're like dark, spicy romance books, like the cool thing about reading is that not everybody is going to like a book. Like I may love a book and you may hate it, but I feel like it really ba is based off of like who you are as a person and like your life experiences in order to read a book and receive it in a certain way. Like we all interpret information differently and like we all interpret books differently. So I love it. Some people are saying that they absolutely hate it. But the thing about spicy dark books is that some of the, the storylines are so unrealistic and so just like not, it's not that it's not good, but it's like sometimes the storyline isn't that great, but the writing is good and you get attached to the characters and the spice is good, you know? I think that the storyline is really good, but it's extremely unrealistic. And that's how a lot of spicy books are. Like they are so unrealistic. Like you can't take it to heart. Like it's not a self-help book that's gonna change your life. Like it's just like a spicy book. It's probably gonna be really cheesy. It's probably gonna be like some of the characters are gonna annoy you and they're not gonna be like realistic human beings. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's just my take on reading spicy books, especially if they're kind of like darker. I just am like, okay, it's not real, you know? I don't know. Some people I feel like just take it too seriously and they're just like, the story, like if a plot isn't good and you don't like it, then obviously you're not gonna wanna continue to read the book, but it's like, 
if it's decent enough, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like the book probably. I guess I just like a lot of the books I read. There's been very, very few books that I've read where I like cannot get into it and I'm just like not with it at all. But for the most part, I don't know, maybe I'm just like not too serious about reading where I'm like, I'm probably gonna like a book. Like it's gonna take a lot for me to like not really enjoy a book. So yeah, I really am liking It Doesn't Hurt. You guys should definitely read it. Put it on your TBR if you're into spicy books. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as your first spicy book. But it could be like maybe if you just want to dive in head first. But that's kind of it for today's vlog, you guys. Nash is downstairs doing some homework. I'm going to try to finish reading the book right now because I like I'm going to be finishing it tonight. Like I just have to get back into it. I'm like so excited to read it right now. Um, but that's pretty much it. I did some like some more client check ins. I had to do redo some programming for some girls, which I did right now. And then, yeah, I'm going to read the book. And then Nash and I are going to just hang out later. We don't really do much. We have been watching Vanderpump Rules. We've been actually not just watching Vanderpump Rules. We've been binging Vanderpump Rules for the past two months. We're on season, we're halfway through season eight right now. We're almost done with season eight. So we're just getting really into the thick of it. And it's so good. Like Nash and I are, he's like more obsessed than I am with BPR. It's so good. Like it's just like a, just the best trashy reality show. It's like everything that you want out of a reality show, the drama, the like craziness is amazing. So we've been watching that and then we've kind of been watching Suits as well, but we want to finish watching VPR before we dive back into Suits, but we'll probably just be doing that and having some dinner. But I just want to say thanks for joining me today and hanging out with me today. I think this gave me like a new inspiration to get back into vlogging. I don't know if you guys can hear outside, but the trees are rustling in the wind. I have the window open and you guys saw the view earlier, but it's just, it's so nice. Yeah, thanks for joining me for today's vlog. Like I said, I think this kind of inspired me to get back into YouTube because I like to I like to talk you guys know that and I just had so much fun today So thanks for joining me and I will definitely be seeing you soon